Hello and welcome, my name is Prue or Prue LaRue and today I'm bringing you a first impressions with the Huda Beauty Neon Orange palette. I bought this a while ago and then I like, didn't? Well no, so what happened was I swatched the shimmers, which you can, they are here, they are there. And I was like, what is this shit? And I never used it. But I really want to like get an opinion. So I've just re-swatched over the top with the orange. So it's just like matching it up. Uh, Re-swatched the pink. Other the yellow. Like they're there but they look kind of shit. I ordered it online from Sephora. And to be honest like in Australia I've never even tried to return a product. I think you can return stuff if it's only lightly swatched. I think Mecca does it but I don't know I'm just confused and I just accepted my mistake. Anyway, and then I also picked up the Anastasia Eye Primer. So this uh, is Annette from Annette's Makeup Corner recommended Julia's Galaxy to buy it because she might like it and then Julia recommended that I should try it. And then it never came to store in Australia, uh, but I can order it online. So I finally decided to order it online because we had the 15% off at Sephora sale last week. So I thought what I'm gonna do is like double pack it. I am excited to try this and I've seen a few looks with this. I am learning that watching other people's looks is detrimental to my like just desire to play with a palette sometimes and I really do need to not watch those videos until I have played with it or done my video. Because that's sort of what's happened to me with the Jeffree Star Jawbreaker. I did film a few looks, I just haven't got around to edi editing them. Then I don't know how many looks I wanted to do and then I think I might just redo them all. Um, I'll have a look and see. But I got distracted with other things. So far it's kind of like a white base. So it's creating a really nice base to put the eyeshadow on. Which I'm kind of excited for. I really need lights with that uh, more vibrant in the back. I have been looking everywhere <laughs> to find better lights. I uh, like the hanging ones by the penguins. And I just, I don't seem to be able to find them. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this yellow and I'm going to do it like in that inner corner. Anyway, does anyone know where I can get better lights? Sorry, did I finish the question? Because that was the question. I kind of wouldn't mind ones that had like a better light label on it. I don't know, I do want to change my background, but this is also the guest room. Although we don't really have guests over. <laughs> so it's kind of just my room. And we kind of just don't tell anyone that there is a room here anymore. Because whenever people are here, it's like super annoying for me. Because <laughs> this is my wardrobe. This room has it, like my everything. I think this one. Mm, all right, I really need to be a smaller brush. So part of my problem is that all my brushes are currently drying. They're close to being dry. They're just not there yet. I'm going to put this down because I know this shimmers a crap. And I'm going to put this on my inner corner. And then I'll layer a shimmer on top of it. I don't know, maybe the shimmers will surprise me. They'll be like, whoa. Alright, and then I'm going to pull this pink with that same brush because it is awesome. It's just doing exactly what I want. Alright, and then... Well, let's put this middle shade, which is kind of yellow, but it's not really. And I'm going to bring this like up here and see what happens. Now, I think what I'm going to try and do is a crack crease. So the one I wanted to play with was the green. It is the green. So I'm going to grab this brush. I'm going to see what happens. This is the whole reason I didn't, I've not used it. It's because I think it's going to be shit. I mean, look at that. It's a bit shit. Oh, all right. We got some building up. All right, I need to spritz this. Does anyone else love the smell of Mac Fuchs Plus? I don't know. I love it. Alright, so with a bit of work, this shimmer can get there. 
Well, that's good to know. I don't think I would pull it out for these shimmers though. I just, I have, I have so many shimmers that are like just work and don't need all this extra energy. I just have to build it up. You've really got to dab it and blend it and dab it and blend it. Alright, and like I said, limited on brushes. So let's just clean this one off. And well, let's darken it up a little bit and go in this one. Um, come out to play, Shimmer. I'm going to try this with my finger. That's better. I don't know. What's going on? Oh, actually, that's kind of pretty. Alright, and then orange to layer it on to the middle, like the inner. Alright, that's kind of fun. Hmm. And then for the piece, the piece de resistance, I'm going to put this one underneath my eye. Alright, and let me go put on mascara and I show it time. Alright, so I've got Puppy from Colourpop on the waterline and the Better Than Sex mascara. So here's my handiwork. What do you think? My first impressions is out of this palette's not really worth it. The shimmers are pretty shit. I wouldn't buy it. I do love the packaging though. But the shimmers suck. But the packaging. Shimmers. Packaging. The mattes are really nice. They all work really well. This is like a colour scheme that's pretty common in my like palette collection at the moment. I don't know. Um, I just wish these shimmers weren't so crap. If the shimmers were good, this would be a fantastic palette. I don't know why she went away from her old formula. There's just instant difference in these ones. Look. I like swatching it, then I'm like, oh, it's like a bit sheer. No, that's still nice though. Let's swatch the blue. Like these are actual shimmers. They actually work. This is a chunky glitter formula in this one. I just I don't know. Like if you are thinking about still buying this palette, I would just make sure to swatch the sh swatch the shimmers, see what you think of them, because they're a big disappointment. But I do love this packaging, so I don't know. It just means that for the next uh, Huda Beauty eyeshadow release, I'm gonna be waiting until the reviews, or until I can swatch it personally. I'm not gonna buy it by blindly. I've learnt my lesson. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed today's first impression. I'm trying to wind them all up and then I'll get into some more three looks, one palettes. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Mwah.